step into the future and turn anything into a 3D wire frame. And I mean this will work with anything, title, logo, graphic, doesn't matter, and it's all 100% in After Effects. So if you want to create an awesome wireframe intro or just something cool, let's get started. Alright, here we are. Once you have a title or logo ready to turn into a wireframe, make sure it's black. If you're working with the logo, you can go to Effect, Generate, Fill, then change the color to black. Now we just need to create a stroke. To do this, go to Layer, Layer Style, and add a stroke. Set the stroke width to 5 and change the color for now. If you're working with the title, you can just enable the stroke in the character panel and change the stroke width here. Once you have your black graphics with a white stroke, duplicate it and go to Layer, Recompose. Call it Logo Holder or Student Loan Debt, doesn't matter. So now you should have the original layer and the new composition. Go into the composition, hopefully called Logo Holder. Now the main task here is to design the square elements that will be used to fully turn your logo into a wireframe. So select a rectangle tool and set the fill color to white. All right, so what we need to do is create small squares in every corner of your title or logo on the stroke. So to make this as simple as possible, what I suggest is create one square by holding shift on your keyboard. And then once that is done, control double click the anchor point to center it on the shape layer. Then duplicate the square and reposition it to another corner. Then repeat this process until every corner is covered. I'll go into time lapse mode here so you can see this all in action. If you're unsure where to place the square exactly, try to make sure that the square is touching the inner corner of the stroke rather than say the outer corner. But you'll be okay, I promise. Okay, so once you're done, this is the most important part of the tutorial. Turn off the stroke on your title or logo layer. Your logo inside the composition needs to be completely black. So now we should only see the white squares. Now back in our main composition, we have the square logo and the original logo with the stroke. What we need to do is make these layers 3D by placing that cube in the box. And real quick, because we're about to have a lot of layers, go to Effect, Color Correction, and select Tint, and change the white color to any color that you want. If you're using a stroke on a logo layer, you'll need to go to the Stroke Color and Alt-click the stopwatch. Then pick what parent it to the Tint Color parameter. For the bottom layer, Add the tint effect again and pick what parent both parameters to the top tint layer's color values. This way later, you'll be able to easily change your colors. All right, now go to the position for the top layer, alt click the stopwatch to type an expression and get ready to pause. Copy and paste this expression that is in the description of this video. This code is not too long to manually type out, but it's kind of awkward to communicate in a tutorial. But I'll show you what it does in a moment. However, be sure to paste the code to the bottom layer as well. Now, when I duplicate the layer that has the white boxes about 80 times, and I mean seriously, 80 times, no cap, FRFR, FR, as the kids today like to say. When I preview our scene in 3D space, now we have something close to a 3D wireframe. The expression we added offsets each layer in Z space by one lonesome pixel. So to complete the wireframe, duplicate the top layer that has the stroke and place the duplicate all the way at the bottom of your composition. Now we're rocking the full 3D wireframe effect. If your edges look a touch weird, you may need to readjust the squares. Simply, you can scale them all down since we've centered their anchor points, or at least, uh, you know, I hope you did. Before we move on and add some creative effects to our wireframe logo, did you know you can get 100 free templates from us for After Effects and Premiere Pro along with our breathable Motion Duck extension. This is where you can browse templates and apply them into any of your projects. Then you can easily adjust the parameters of the control layer and boom, a simple way to impress your clients or your parents. But also, we have over 25,000 other templates available to you to help assist you in any of your projects. So whether you need seamless transitions, infographics, graphic effects, or just creative elements, you can check out everything for your future projects, including our free pack with the link below. Okay, we just have two more purely creative steps from here. We just need to mess with the camera angles and add some effects. First, we'll talk about the cameras. What I would do is create a null object and make sure that null object is a 3D layer. Then, parent all your title and logo layers to that null object. Now, you can go to the null's rotation and alt click the stopwatch for Z rotation. Then just type time asterisk 15. You know, imagine if I said pause the video and copy paste this expression from the description. 
Anyways, this will rotate the logo or title forever. But of course you don't have to do this step. So now let's create a camera layer and use the 50 millimeter preset and trim the camera's layer to be about two seconds long. From here, creatively use the camera tools at the top of After Effects to position and angle your camera. Hit C on your keyboard to use the different tools. I suggest zooming in and slightly rotating it. From here, you can create another one to two second camera and create another unique angle. And for the final camera, I'm going to animate the position and point of interest using the Dolly Tor cursor tool. And I'll essentially create a zoom out animation with this technique. Now we have all of our cameras in place, creating a nice cinematic. However, we'll actually make this cinematic with some effects. So create an adjustment layer and we'll go to effect, stylize, glow. Alt click the stopwatch for glow radius and type wiggle open parenthesis 0.5 comma 5 close parenthesis. Then duplicate the effect, increase the glow radius to about 150, then edit the expression to wiggle 5 comma 100. When ready, do another duplicate of the effect, set the radius to 300, and edit the last number in the wiggle expression to 200. Now we have a beautiful glow. Another great effect to create is depth of field. So create another adjustment layer and go to blur and sharpen and add camera lens blur. And just increase the blur radius to 10. Now double click the ellipse tool here at the top and go to the mask properties on the adjustment layer. And from here, set the mode to subtract, increase the feather by a touch and decrease the mask expansion to blur the edges of our animation. Now, if you want to apply an optical RGB effect, I just applied this element from our VFX pack. However, you can create this with the VR digital glitch effect. So just lower the geometry distortion and the distortion complexity to zero and adjust the color values however you like. And after a few simple steps, we have some cool effects. So I could talk about adding tons of creative effects forever. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the video here. So have fun with the process, subscribe for more tutorials and always be creating.